Hi, Assalamualaikum. My name is Nurhayati Rinardi. I'm from Faculty of FTMK, uh, 1BITC, uh, class S1-2. My name is Ismahani Bintirsti. I'm from uh, FTMK, class VITC, uh, class of S1-2. My name is Siti Noor Aisha Bintianua. I come from Faculty of FTMK, uh, class VITC, class S1-2. Hi, my name is Eun Jin Chi. I'm from VITM year 2. Um, S1G1. All right. So hi guys, today we are going to show to you how to solve a program that allow user to input 10 random numbers. So the question asks us to sort the number in ascending order and then the total sum of the entered numbers, the average of the entered numbers and the median value for the numbers. So now, let's move to the first part. We are using array to solve the coding. Here, we are giving you the definition of the array. Next, why do we use dot space 40? This is because one word is equal to four bytes. Hence, users are required to enter 10 numbers. So, 10 numbers multiply with four bytes is equal to 40. So that is the reason why we use dot space 40. Next, we have prom, prom1, prom2, prom3, prom4, prom5, dot and colon. The function of these things is to display the in-string and the out-string for the code. Next, for our main function, we use add immediate register t9, register t9, 1. Why do we use register T9 in this case? This is because we started to count the array from 0 to 9, which is equivalent to 10 numbers. Then, LI register V04, LA register A0 prom. This is function to print the string into a dollar A0. And then, we set the register S1 as So next, we are going to see the loop input part. First, we are going to move the register T9 into register A0. This is function to count the numbers that are input by the user. Then, to print out the colon, we have to use load immediate register V04, load address register A0 colon. Next, to read the input by the user, we have to use load immediate register v05 next we use store word register v00 in bracket register s1 is because the input that entered by the user is safe in the register s1 next we use add immediate register s1 register s14 is because array is equal to array plus 4 Next, for the increment step of the counter, we use at immediate register T1, register T11 is because to loop back the array. And then, we use branch not equal register T110 is because when i is not equal to 10, the loop will be stopped. Next, we use loop address register S1 array is because to set the array back to register S1. Then we use subtract, which is sub for QTSPIM, register T1, register T1, register T1. Next, we are going to the sorting part. We need to sort the number entered by user in ascending order. First, we use PEQ register T2 9, which means if register T2 equal to 9, go to consort. Then we use load word register T3 0 register S1 to store the array value in register T3. Next we use load word register T4 4 to store array I plus 4 in register T4. We use add immediate register S1 register S1 4 because we want to add register S1 with 4. Next add 
immediate register t2 register t2 1 because we want to add register t2 with 1 then we use branch less than or equal register t3 register t4 sort because if t3 is less than t4 it will return back to sorting we use store word register t3 0 register s1 and store word register t4 negative 4 register s1 to exchange position for the last part of sorting part we use branch not equal register t2 9 sort because if t9 is not equal to 9 it will go back to sort okay now we will go to the consort part which mean by continue sorting part first we use load address register s1 array because it will continue sort again the number next we use add immediate register t1 register t1 1 because we want to add register t1 with 1 then we use add immediate register t2 register t1 0 because we want to add register t1 with 0 and save the value to register t2 then we use branch not equal register t1 9 sort because if t1 not equal to 0 it will return back to print sort we use load immediate register v0 4 and la register a0 prop 1 to print out the prom 1 and ascending number result for the last part of consort we use load address register s1 array and sub register t1 register t1 register t1 to load address array and register s1. now we will go to the print sort part we use load immediate register v01 for the system call for print the integers Next, we use load word register a0, 0, register s1 to load the array value into register a0. We use load immediate register v0, 4 for the system call to print string. Next, we use load address register a0 space and the space will be print on terminal. We use add immediate register s1 register s1 4 for the increment of array array plus 4. Next we use add immediate register t1 register t1 1 for the counter i plus plus. Then we use branch not equal register t1 10 and print sort because if the value t1 not equal to 0 it will return back to the print sort. Okay, to print out the sum instruction, we use load address register S1 array for the array are loaded to register S1. We're using load immediate register B0 for, for the system call to print string. We're using load address register A0 from 2 to print out the sum text. For the sum, we load word register T3, 0, register S1, which is register T3 is equal to sum. We using add instruction, register T4, register T3, register T4. We add immediate register S1, register S1, for, for the increments of array. We add immediate register 1, register T1, 1, increments of I++. Branch not equal, register T1, 10, sum, because if the condition I not equal 10, the loops back to sum. We move register T4 to register A0. We load immediate register V0, 1, to print out the sum of number. Next, for the average, to print out average instruction, we using load immediate register v0 for 
for system call to print string. We using load address register A0 from 3 to print out the average text. Next, we using add instruction register T7 register T7 0 to add register T7 with 10. Next, we using div instruction to divide value in register T4 with value in register T7. By using MFLO instruction, the quotient are moved to register S7, while the reminder are moved to register S6. We move register S7 into register A0. We using LOT immediate register V0 1 to print out the total. Next, we using LOT immediate register V0 for load address register A0 dot to system call to print dot. We move register S6 into register A0. We using load immediate register V0 1 to print out the average of number. This is the code to calculate the medium using QT speed. First of all, we have to print out prompt for instruction. Value 4 is fit to register V0 to indicate system call for print string. Thus, the line becomes LI V0, 4. Then, we use the load word LW instruction to access data at the register T6 and T7. After that, we add out the value in T register T7 and register T6 and store the result in register T6. Then, we use the add immediate instruction to store value 2 into register S4. And we use the div instruction to divide value in register T6 with value in register S4. By using the MFLO instruction, the quotient are moved to register T3 while the remainder are moved to register T4. Use the MUL instruction to multiply value in register T4 with 10 and use the div instruction to divide the value in register t4 with 2. Then, move the integer in register t3 into register a0. Feed value 1 to register v0 to print out the integer. Again, feed value 4 to register v0 to print out the string dot on terminal. Then, move integer in register T4 into register A0. Again, fit the value 1 into register V0 to print out the integer. End the calculation by calling out string prompt 5 by feeding value 4 into register V0. To exit the program safely, load value 10 to register V0 to indicate system call code for exit program.